it's George from Take Dream Fashion. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sew your gathering onto your waistband. But before I do that, if you haven't watched our previous tutorial on how to gather, click the link just here and it will take you straight there. But if you already have, that's fantastic. I'm going to show you how simple it really is to attach your gathering to your waistband. Okay, so following on from last tutorial, this is my heavyweight wool blend fabric and I've just cut out a strip to act as a waistband to show you how to pin the gathered fabric onto a flat piece of fabric. Okay, so when you start to pin, you need to make sure that your gathers are even. So I'm just gonna play around with the gathering so that it fits the width of the waistband. So what I like to do is, is pin the waistband on first. And the other end. And then that way, you flip it around so you have the gathering there and you wanna even out the gathering along the waistband. Now that your gathering has been evenly spread out, and if it's not, and it's still not sitting correctly with the width of the waistband, just play around with it, pull the thread on either side, will gather up again making sure that you're pinning down in the center to begin with so that's stable and then working out the gathering and pinning it in place ready for you to sew then I watch them roll away again, yeah. I'm sitting in the morning sun. I'll be sitting when the evening comes. Watching the ships roll in. Then I so now we're going to start sewing, attaching our gathering onto our waistband. But before you do that, make sure you test your sewing machine with a scrap piece of fabric, the same that you're using for your main garment, and make sure that your stitch length is at a normal stitch, making sure that your tension of your thread is correct as well. So now we're going to put the gathering facing up and the waistband facing down, ready for you to sew. All right, so place your fabric underneath putting it down and putting the needle in I'm doing a one centimeter seam and make sure that you back tack at the start and at the end as you go and as you sew remove the pins and also just take your time doing it and just even out the gathers as you sew So now you can see the straight stitch. You can also see our gathering stitch just below here, which we're going to remove now. If you wanna watch how to hand gather, click the link just here. Okay, so now we're going to remove the gathering stitch. I've got my thread cutters here to help me and make sure when you're doing it that you don't uh, pick out your straight stitch or you'll have to do that again. So here we go. What you do is you just pull it under and 
cut. It should be easy as the stitches are quite long in length. And you can just pull it out like this, but obviously be very careful. You don't want to pick any uh, of your fabric out as well. So just take your time. And usually you can just pull out the end and it's quite easy to remove. Just like that. So there you have it. You've got your gathering that will look like this on the other side once your waistband is up. Cut all loose thread. And there you have it. Okay, so that is how you sew your gathering onto your waistband. You can also apply the same method if your pattern is gathered at the waist or also around your cuff or ankle. It really doesn't matter. So if you found this tutorial super easy to follow, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date for when we post more tutorials like this one. See you guys and happy sewing.